God's beauty is all around us and my goal as an artist is to capture and interpret that beauty on canvas and to take you, the viewer, along with me on this painting journey. Hello and welcome to Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch and we're going to take a trip along the Mississippi River today. Have you ever been to the Mississippi? Well, it's a beautiful place and I have some, some nice uh, photos I want to show you of my journey down the Mississippi. But first of all, um, I want to tell you about what we're going to be painting. And once again, you're watching Painting Journeys. I'm really glad you joined us. Thank you for that. Okay, uh, this is a house um, that uh, this is the, what we're going to use as our reference today to paint. And you'll notice that the house is on stilts. Well, that's because the Mississippi overflows quite often. And so it's very important. But this, this home is these people actually live there year round. And I think that's so adventurous because uh, can you imagine? I mean, um, one day you get up and the water's up to here and the next day you get up and the water's down to there and I don't know. I think I'd have my boat right out my back door. <laughs> but anyway, I, I wanted to show you this and then I wanted to show you a painting that I completed uh, a few years back when I was in Ireland. And this painting today is going to propose the same uh, challenges that the one that I painted uh, when I was in Ireland. I painted this on site in Ireland, and there again, it's a building, but it has a lot of greenery and trees and things in front of it. And it requires you to make the decision as to what are you going to uh, make the most predominant? Are you going to have what is in front of the building the most predominant? Or are you going to have what, you know, the building itself most pre predominant? And so I made those decisions there. It was a few years ago. As we, as we paint, we get better at it. And I can look back at this now and see some things that I wish I would have done differently. And so I'm going to try, as I face these same challenges, on this painting today, I'm going to try to do it just a little bit differently. So I have it just lightly sketched on. What doesn't show in the photograph is the fact that there is going to be a little bit of the riverbank here because otherwise it wouldn't look like home on the Mississippi if we didn't show a little bit of the river. Okay, so let's get busy mixing up some paint. The palette is the usual that I always use. Same colors, just different mixtures to get different results, but it's always the same palette. All right, um, excuse my voice today. I think I might be coming down with a little bit of something, but from where you're at, it won't be contagious. So here we go. I am, let's see here, I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna make some dark. I wanna push some darks back in here and get some lights back there. Uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to work fast today. I wanna get as far along on this as I possibly can so that we have, by the time our short hour, and that's all we have together, is just one short hour, and it isn't even that. I think it amounts to about 56 minutes or something. Anyway, I want to try to try to get um, um, as much done as possible so you can see where I'm going with this. And then, of course, on the next show, you'll be able to see the finished product, whatever I didn't get done today. So here we go. Now I see some real dark back in here, and I'm just gonna put it in. I mean, it's really dark, and then there's gonna be, there's gonna be uh, lighter greens that are gonna be going over this, but I wanna set this back. I wanna set it way back, especially under the house here. Right in here. I love this little yellow house. 
I think that yellow is so charming on a house. Maybe a little dark down in here. Could use a little more green in there. There we go. A little dark on the shade of this of this tree right here. Okay. Get some dark back here. All righty. Okay. Now I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go in and mix up a light sky. Now this sky looked pretty in this painting, I mean in this photograph, it looks pretty um, washed out white. I like a blue sky. That's the wonderful part about being a painter. You know, if you don't like the way something looks, change it and make it your vision, not the eye of the camera's vision. Make a nice little summery sky looking here. And I'm just mixing up some cerulean blue with a tad of orange to um, gray it a little bit uh, slightly, a little white to lighten it. And now we have a nice pretty, uh, maybe I'll put a little bit of the ultramarine in there too, just to give it a little cooler look because we have uh, so much warmth in this area here in these leaves. So we'll go with a little cooler looking sky. You want that, you want uh, different color um, temperatures on your painting too. I just took this trip this past fall and um, went with a, a group of people from our church and it was really something. We went over to um, the uh, Mississippi to La Crosse, Wisconsin, journeyed over there, took a bus. It was a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. And um, we got on this. We had our own private uh, boat, the charter boat, to take us down the Mississippi. and. Uh, what fun that was seeing. I mean, we, they took us on the little back channels and we got to see all kinds of different um, uh, animals in, in, the, in the water and everything. I, th I thought maybe there would be alligators, but there weren't, thank goodness. That would have scared me half to death because it was a real low kind of flat bottom boat, you know. I guess the Mississippi really isn't all that deep a river, so yeah. We're just bouncing that sky around here and there a little bit, and then we're going to be putting the, the trees on top. Okay. All right, now let's see here. And we've got down here, there's a little fence, and we can see a little bit of the sky down there, but I want that to be lighter because as the sky goes down towards the ground, it always lightens up. So I have to remember that. So this little house was one of the first things that we saw as we were traveling down the river. I think we were on a little like a tributary, a little side part of, of it. There we go. Okay. Now then, we've got, let me get that. Um, uh, let's see here. I think we'll just go ahead and, and put that yellow. The sun was very bright that day. Um, yeah, we'll just get that yellow roof in there real quick or the yellow side of the house, rather. Excuse me. Well, that's kind of bright. To gray that down a little bit. I always like to use a little yellow ochre to gray my yellow. That works pretty nice. Not nearly as garish that way. Okay, 
Okay. Two tiny, very tiny little windows there. I wonder why those windows are so small. I don't know. Got to straighten them up a little bit here. Okay, there we go. There's a little, now this on, this on the front of the house is quite a bit lighter because the sun is hitting that. So that's gonna come up here and come down. Okay. Yeah, that's about the same, the right value, I think. Maybe this is just needs a little couple brush strokes in there to show that. All right, and then right under, right under the roof here, it's going to be just a little bit darker. And yeah, right under here. And it's going to be a little darker right in here. Okay. And then we've got this nice dark roof. And it's a little darker as we come right in here. That's too big a brush. They always tell you, paint with the largest brush you can. I don't know, I just can't seem to do that. I feel like I have more control with a smaller brush. Okay, right in here. And right over here, it's real dark. And then it gets a little lighter towards the top where the light is hitting it. We've got this little guy coming out here, this little Eve. There we go. And it's coming right here. And there's a little window in there. And then I'm going to take my sky brush, because I don't like the hard lines. I'm going to take my sky brush and take some of this lighter sky here, and I'm just going to bring that right over the top of that. Just bring that sky right on into that um, roof line there so that we don't get the feeling that it's so hard. I'll go back in here and set it back in there. There we go. Nice and light. Now we'll probably be going over that at some point, but at least I have it laid in. All right. Now underneath, we have some very dark area underneath this house. And that is because we can see the underside of the house. Put a little red in there, a little alizarin crimson, so it doesn't look so black. There we go, that looks a little better. And probably gonna have to fix my corner here.
Mm-hmm. Okay, and that, oh, that's going up, I see. Got to look at your photograph, Kitty. There we go. There we go. All right, now, that's, need a little more yellow in here to show here. That's where the window's going to be. And we'll just kind of pop that in there for right now. Um, oh, let's see, the window is kind of blackish. So we'll just Got a couple windows right in here. All righty, nice and bright, um, and that's good. Square these off a little bit. Whoops. Every time I go back and fix something, I mess it up. That's why you shouldn't fix. But I can't keep myself from doing it. All righty. Okay, let's see here. Just want to fix this line right here. And take the darker. Hmm. Getting too many brushes going here. There we go. Nice sharp line right there. There is a little porch sticking out here. get what's behind it. That green. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll take this brush. And that's that real dark green again. up some nice dark green and put around in here and I'm not going to worry about my um, um, posts the stilts I'm not going to worry about those just yet um, because I'll, I'll wipe out to put those on All right, now we have a greenery up in here. And it's breaking over the house here. And it's coming over the porch here. It's nice and light and bright up in there. Very light and airy. I'm not going to worry about putting in the um, um, uh, the trunks yet. Just trying to mass mass this in a little bit. So anyway, we after we passed this house that I absolutely fell in love with, we journeyed, journeyed on further down the river, and um, we came to uh, a big bridge that went across the river, um, and uh, it kind of connected the one side of the river to another side where there was a, a very, on our side of the boat, there was a very quaint 
little town. I want to show you a picture of that bridge. It was really, it was kind of arched. And at first, I actually thought that we were in the Mississippi. Here, I'm going to pick this, this picture up and I'm going to show it to you. I actually thought we were in, uh, um, in St. Louis because the bridge is arched. And uh, of course, it's not nearly like the bridge in, in um, St. Louis, but uh, <laughs> kind of reminded me of it. I was hoping, I was hoping we were going to just keep going forever. <laughs> so anyway, though, um, then the little town that was, let's see here, I think, how's that looking? Okay, sure. All right, now this side here looks, seems to be a little cooler in the greens. Yeah, all right. And we've got, we've got uh, a cooler green that's coming up in here. And so we're going to mass that in a little bit. Very interesting, the, the, um, the history of the river and what they were, were telling us about um, all the different um, happenings that had gone on. I'm sorry to tell you that I don't remember a lot of it, but then... Uh, getting to that age, you know, where you don't remember as much as you used to. But anyway, it was very interesting. The, the river has a very colorful and um, kind of a mm, naughty history. <laughs> uh, this little town it, that was alongside the river it was just a sleepy little town, and it didn't look like there was, as we were floating by, it didn't look like there was much going on in there, um, in the town, except that they had this big gang walk, and I'm pretty sure that that is probably, well, here, let me show you. This is the, um, the town, and there's this big building that looks like something that you would go into to go down, uh, you know, to enter something on the river. And um, um, anyway, and I think, I think, just for the sake of letting you know here, I think what they were entering was this great big, Casino. It's um, um, the floating, the floating uh, casino, and it used to go up and down the Mississippi. Uh, the name of it is the Lady Luck. It held a ton of people, and now, and it, they would, they would go out into the water where gambling was legal. And then they could gamble and have their showgirls and, and have their fun. And then when they docked, all the people would get off the boat, you know. So I thought that was really uh, an interesting uh, bit of information. And they, they keep the boat really um, updated and in good shape because I think I think what happens now is people go aboard the boat and have dinner and, and things like that. So... And I need this to be much, much bluer. There's a lot of unusual looking things, you know, the, the old mixed with the new. This next photo that I'm going to show you is, it was some kind of a mill of some sort, and I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know what it is. Some of you out there probably do, but it was this really quaint looking mill. In fact, I really almost wanted to bring it today to paint that for you because it was so quaint looking. Now we're going to come back here and go for detail later, but for right now, it's just all these mixes of greens is what I'm seeing. But anyway, this, this mill, and then in front of this mill are, well, let me show you. 
in front of this mill are all of these um, like pleasure boats, speed boats, great big fancy boats uh, in front of this old mill. And the contrast, the contrast of the, of the old, you know, against the new, uh, the old way of life, the old way of working against the new way of enjoying yourself and everything. I thought that was pretty interesting. You know, I just kind of like that, that um, um, the change between uh, what was and what is. I thought that was really interesting. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. Here we go. And now we got a little bit coming over here. And you know, this is this is probably pretty boring for you watching me do this, but I just want to just get this green danced in there so that I can come back with some branches and I'm just making these shapes here. This is the problem when you have um, a painting where you want to put a lot of green and then uh, in front of something. Now this right in here seems to me to be a little bluer coming down that whole section there of the tree. All right, now back in here, we have the dark green again. All righty, back in there. No, that's not dark enough. Let's see here, getting a little too much paint on the brush. Let's just take some of that off and start over with a little darker green. There we go. There we go. That'll do it. Right by the house here, it's really dark by the side of the house. That dark in there is looking for the dark spots and the light spots. And then there's real light, a real light spot coming down. Light and warm coming right here against the dark. Okay, and then we have like a bush here, and we have the greenery here. Now we better take our wipeout tool and wipe out where we want our, oh, okay. There is, the porch is coming here, so I'm gonna have to re, um, repaint that after I wipe this out a little bit, because that's where there's a, a little porch off, at coming off of it, and I want that to show. All right, now then right in here, we have a stilt coming down, and that's on the front side. And then back here, we have one coming down, but he's on the back side, so he doesn't go all the way up, and he's not as long. We have another one back here, Same thing, he's in the back. Now here, this one here is coming clear from up here and coming down. We have another one in the front right here. And we have another one over here. Okay, so we'll get those stilts uh, kind of placed in there. And it's kind of a light gray back there because it's behind, it's in shadow. So we have to keep that in mind. Let's 
They're pretty good size. Okay, and then there's a, let's see, do I see another one back here? Yeah, I think I do. It's coming right there. All right. And then these ones in the foreground, just a little lighter and a little warmer. I think this place is so cute. I wouldn't mind living there. person lives there year round. I think at one time, the person just wanted it to be a, like a little summer cottage. But then they came in and they fixed it all up and put it up higher on higher stilts and and now they live in it year round. I just, I can't imagine anything better than living right alongside the river, except for the scary times when it's flooding, of course. Now, these are kind of wide, as you can see. So we'll just go back in there and we'll narrow them up with some of the darker green. And well, I just got the 30 minute sign. I thought I'd been going a lot longer than that. That means we're halfway through the show. And I have more than half of this canvas painted. Ah, hey, I'm doing okay. Hmm. Quiet, huh? Being too quiet, I should be talking to you. But I'm really concentrating. I don't like that at all, but we'll be fixing it. Okay, we'll come back to that later. I do need a, a little dark couple of windows up here. Okay. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start on some tree limbs. And I want the tree limbs to be, oh, let's see, let's make them a little more of a violet color. And we've got a big one coming right over here. And we're going to make some branches come off of that. these to be too straight. Okay, and this guy here, he's a little lighter at the base. It's darker as he goes up because that's where the shadow is. All righty. We have this coming all the way up here. And we have this.
come in here. And then we have little, little things coming off of it. My brush is too big to make those little tiny uh, branches. So we're just going for the, the larger ones right now. And here comes one over here. And you know, you never want to make those branches look like wet noodles. They're always jointed, even on a weeping willow tree. You want to make the branches jointed. Otherwise, it just, it has no structure. It has no strength. And um, just like a pipe, you just, you know, make, make lots of joints on it. And it'll, it'll be very uh, forgiving if you make a mistake that way because it'll resemble a tree much more than just little wet noodles. I call them wet noodles. Do. All righty. We've got something going over here, too. There's something coming down over here. All right. Um, okay. Let's get, to, before we get too involved with anything else. Let's get some of this uh, foreground down. Now that's, that's nice and light and bright. That sun is just shining on that. Alrighty, and then it gets a little cooler as it goes away over here. See how the yellow changes and it becomes a little cooler? Kind of always watch for that color temperature, that change in temperature. Okay. And then down here now where we have this dark, this is, this is cooler. And it's coming down into this right here, into this bank. And that's the bank coming down into the river there. And so that's darker. And it's quite dark right along in there. And of course we have we have some um, uh, branches and twigs and things like that. But that's that's kind of finish work. We we don't we don't want to start tackling the detail right now. We want to try to keep the broader uh, approach going. Um, okay, so now we do have we do have some rocks. Whoops, that's not a rock, Kitty. That looks like a, I don't know what, but it doesn't look like a rock. Let's get that off of there. I don't like it and I need a, I need a different brush. I have 15 layers of paint on that one. Clean brush will be much better. Let's see here. I'll have lots of brushes to wash when I get back to my home studio today. <laughs> That's okay. That's what they're for. Use them and wash them and use them again. Well, we got these rocks in here, some rocks over here. I want this tree to just kind of come down into that a little bit with a little, I have a little bit of a light on, warmish light on that tree on that side there where the sun is um, hitting it right there. There we go. And in here we have kind of a half tone. Now I'm going to bring this up and because um, I want the river. Oh, now this is real light over here. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is very light in here. Let's get this going here. Nice and light, nice and light, night. Lots of paint, lots of paint. Yeah, let's just get that on there. Okay. 
All righty. Then we've got a, looks like a bunch of brown rocks. Let's see what we get here. There again, it's in the, it's in the uh, um, light, so the light is really hitting it. And um, I don't use brown. I make my own brown. I make my own earth colors. I don't, I don't um, use a, a, an earth color. Like your earth colors would be like burnt sienna, burnt umber, those colors. I like to make my own uh, colors like that. And then that gives you um, it gives you a cleaner, a cleaner look. OK, now we're going to have the riverbank coming right here. We want this to come down as a shadow, cast shadow. This is all coming down as cast shadow from what's above. I guess we need a little more green in there. Okay, now we're going to have some nice blue water coming in the foreground that the, the sky has um, um, hit and uh, uh, made it look kind of blue. Mm-hmm. Oh, how pretty. I like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I guess I shouldn't say my work is pretty, but I do like that. I like what's happening there. Yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, now we still have 15 minutes to go. Hopefully we're going to be able to show you uh, a little bit of finish today. That'll be a treat. Mm-hmm. All righty. Um, let's pull this up and flip it over. There we go. Some clean towel. All right. I'm going to come in behind here with some dark. Fill that in with some very dark. Oh, darn it. Okay, now we'll make some smaller branches.
Okay. Is there just a ton of branches coming off this tree and and we really don't want to have all of them on here. Uh, be just way, way, way too much. This is coming off of here and coming over here. Okay. Some nice dark branches up in here. That's much darker. If you ever get a chance to take a trip, no matter how short it is, down the Mississippi, don't hesitate to do it. The scenery changes uh, so much. I mean, you just, you see so much. And the wildlife is just phenomenal. The birds and the um, egrets and the waterfowl, I mean, it just, it's, you know, and the little animals that, beavers and things like that that live close to the, and the, and the beaver, the dams that the beavers build. And then there's the eagles. And the eagles, they build these big nests up in the trees. And when, they, and when the eagle lands in the tree, you, the whole branch, because he's so big, the whole branch just bends and quivers as he alights in his nest. It's just, it's, it's such a marvelous, marvelous adventure. What a journey, what a journey. All right, now I think we'll come back on top of that and we'll put some uh, leaves um, uh, patterns on top of this that will kind of um, set those back a little bit. Okay, some of these leaves look like they're like they're um, kind of lighter. This might be too much uh, too much paint on here. Got a lot of the canvas showing through. That but I'm not going to worry about that to heck with it. Who cares? We'll take care of that later. Time and place for everything. Let's just get some leaves on here. Make it look like these are leaves and not blobs of paint. And I don't like this thing here. Even though he's in the picture, I don't like him. So I'm just going to make some leaves go across him and that'll set him back a little bit. See? There's a way to handle everything. All right, let's see here. Maybe I think I want that water to be a little more sparkly. Whoops. I think something fell down, gang. But we'll just keep going. And so if it's okay with you guys, it's okay with me. We'll just keep going. Uh, that, uh, that's too, um, that is too yellow. I want that to be more blue there in the foreground for the, the water. All righty. And then, let's see here, we've got this little bit here, and that seems like that needs to have some dark in it. Well, okay, here. Um, all right. 
I didn't do that little porch yet. And it's kind of a kind of a gray color. It's kind of a gray color too. With a little white in it. Okay, now we need that dark back in here. Okay. All right, let's see here. Maybe we can do a little something with these windows. Let's pray we don't mess them up. Uh, maybe just a little darkness at the top. And then we'll do a little yellow over here. <laughs> okay, I think we did pretty good today on this. Um, I did want to tell you uh, another little part about the trip. We, uh, after uh, we took our cruise, we stopped by this, this mansion. There was this huge mansion at one time this man was the wealthiest man in all of, um, all along that area anyway, in La Crosse area. And he built this gorgeous mansion for his wife. And the sad part of it was, is his wife, who was from New York, she never liked living out there with the Indians and everything. Um, and so she never, she would come and visit but she wanted the children to be raised with a, an, a, a city education. So she lived in New York, and he would go there, and he would, he would build this dream home for her that she didn't care to live in. So they have turned it into a beautiful museum. At one time, uh, one of the children were thinking, one of his children, uh, after he was gone, were thinking of turning it into a uh, horse farm. And so they built this big, enormous, beautiful stable. And of course, that never, that never uh, came to fruition either. Um, you know, it's just sometimes your dreams just don't come true. Um, your dream maybe not, might not be your mate's dream or your spouse's dream or whatever. And so when that happens, then... You just got to plow ahead and do what you think is right. And that's evidently what this gentleman did. His kids seemed to really enjoy the place. They had this, um, well, I'm just going to show it to you here. I think, um, I think I'm going to wipe off the bottom of this a little bit because I came back in with too much light. And I don't think that looks good. There we go, that looks a little more like water now. Hear that knife? I love that sound. <laughs> Pretty scratchy. Anyway, so I'm going to show you a picture of the mansion now. And, uh, and there's this, there was this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous pond um, that was there. I mean, I, I just, myself, I couldn't imagine anybody building something like this for me and me not appreciating it and not wanting to live there. But I guess ladies back in the 1800s had different ideas. So anyway, here is a picture of the mansion and in all of its splendor, gorgeous walkway up to this enclosed front porch where you could sit on a... On a um, hot evening, and, uh, and this is a picture of the pond with the flowers around it. It was so beautiful, just such a, that was just the nicest journey, one of the nicest journeys I've taken in a long time. I really enjoyed it. And so this is our, this is our little river, our home on the Mississippi, and it's looking not too bad. It's got some room for improvement. 
but it's not looking too bad for an hour. It's time. I'm really glad you joined me today. And once again, my name is Kitty Lynn Klitsch, and this is Painting Journeys. And I want to tell you, if you really enjoy watching my show, please think about sending a little money to WSCS Sheboygan. Uh, that's our station, and we could use the funding to keep quality programs like this, you know, on air for you. So if you think about it, send a little money our way. We could use it. Once again, that's WSCS Sheboygan TV. And thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.